This video takes a look at module one, lesson five, um, which transitions to looking at proportional and non-proportional relationships in graphs. So today you guys are going to examine graphs to decide whether two quantities are proportional to each other. Um, similar to what it's been before, when you can answer the problem set questions correct before checking your answers, you know you did pretty well in the lesson. And the learning target or standard is the same, recognize and represent proportional relationships between quantities. Class goals are the same, a year and a half, according to iReady, and 80% mastery. Um, keep up with that sticker chart. You need eight out of every 10. All right, so our opening exercise here. Isaiah sold candy bars to help raise money for his scouting troop. The table shows the amount of candy he sold compared to the money he received. Is the amount of candy bar sold proportional to the amount of money received? How do you know? So go through this little opening exercise, answer this on the line, shouldn't take too long, um, then come back and check the video to ensure um, you got the correct answer. here. Hopefully through your work with the uh, previous lessons, you got that these are not proportional. Um, because there is not a constant of proportionality that is true for every ratio here. If I just look down at this 12 to 12, that would be a constant of proportionality of, of 1, right? 12 times 1 is 12, but 2 times 1 is not 3. There is no constant number that exists here um, for each ratio that would make this proportional. So this is not a proportional relationship. Now, moving down, this exploratory challenge is asking us first to take this ratio and make it proportional. So what we're going to do, if you start with 2 to 3, you can multiply by 2, by 2, and you can get 4 to 6. Then you can multiply by 3, get 6 to 9, then multiply um, by 4 and get 8 to 12. This table now represents a proportional relationship because all of these ratios are equivalent. And proportional relationships just mean that they're equivalent ratios. They're, they're synonyms for each other. They mean the same thing. Um, also, the scale factor here is uh, 3 halves. So if you multiply by 1 and a half here, you will get the result. So for instance, 2 times 1 and a half will get 3 so on and so forth for all of these x values, making our equation y equals 1.5x, where 1.5 is that constant of proportionality. Okay, So we're connecting a lot of ideas of what we learned in 6th grade to apply it to kind of different problems in 7th grade. So what I want you to do here, we have this graph, and this lesson is big on looking at graphs and trying to determine proportionality from graphs. So what I want you to do is set up your tails all right, from science class. You should know how this should be labeled. Now, they already have your intervals for you, but I don't see your axis he's labeled. I do not see a title. Then go ahead and plot these coordinate pairs on this graph. So for instance, this first one, x is 2, y is 3. The second one would be 4, 6, so on and so forth. So set up in tails your graph then plot, and you're going to kind of notice something. But before you move on, um, please graph, do your tails, then come back and check the video before we move forward. All right, so what you see here on the left side is I have written all of my coordinate pairs out simply because if I write the coordinate pairs out, it can be a lot easier for me to graph. Um, notice my title up here of Isaiah's fundraiser. If your title is ex not exactly the same, um, that is okay. But this is what I came up with given the situation. Um, your Y should be money received because it's labeled in your table, and your X is candy bars sold. Now, the next thing you just need to do is plot the points. You got two, three. The first number, X, is left and right. So I'll draw this little arrow this way. Y is vertical. It goes up and down. So the first number, 2, tell me I went over 2, and then up 3 from the second number. Okay, 4, 6 tells me right 4, and then up 6. 
Um, the next one is right six up nine, um, right eight up twelve. So you should notice something from this table. So this or this graph, excuse me. So just take a second and look and think about what these points seem to be forming. And keep in mind this table is proportional, right? We didn't graph this non-proportional one. We redid it so it would be proportional. So what does this look like it forms? And to me, it looks like it starts at this zero point, which is called the origin, okay? Down here is the origin, and it seems to create a pretty straight line. And if I, you know, take my tools here and I create a straight line, it seems to me that that straight line goes through every single point that we graphed, and it goes through this zero, zero, which is called the origin. So, this is a very important note here. You need to know this for this year, next year, and any math, real life situation heading forward. Proportional relationships, when you graph them, they create a straight line. Just like, sorry, down here, straight line. The points line up in a straight line, and that line goes through the what's called the origin. And the origin is this zero comma zero point right down here. Those two factors, which I'm going to star two more times because very important, those make a proportional relationship. And those are the only two things you need. If it is a straight line that goes through the origin, it is a proportional relationship. Okay? So... Let's look at this example. This came from um, example the opening exercise before we changed it. I'm going to plot these points. Now, the fact this ha doesn't have a title bothers me, but for now, <laughs> you can add a title if you want. In fact, you should, and we're going to because um, we're committed to quality. So we're going to label this Isaiah's Fundraiser. Okay. And we're going to center that right here. Now, they have already taken care here of the axes and the intervals, but we should make sure we have a type. So the first coordinate pair seems to be x is 2, y is 3. Same as before. So 2, 3. Right there. Now, my next coordinate pair, x is 4, y is 5. So that's going to go over to 4, up to 5, which is right here. Next one is 8 as my x, 9 as my y. So I'm going to go over to 8, up to 9, which is right here. And then my next one happens to be 12 for the x and 12 for the y. So I'll go over to 12, up to 12, which is right here. Now, this one. If I go and try to make a straight line through the origin, look at what happens here. Say I try to go through this point. I can't even make a, a line, right? It is impossible for me to make a straight line that goes through every point. See what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to make a line that goes through zero, right, this origin, and creates a straight line. But that is impossible. And the reason it is impossible is because this is not a proportional relationship. The line that I would draw, and you do not have to draw this, but it would go like this. It would start curving, and notice it's not 100% straight. Furthermore, if I continue it straight here, it does not go through the origin. So this is not a proportional relationship. It is not a fully straight line. It starts curving, and it does not go through the origin if you continue the line. So this is not proportional because it does not hit our characteristics up here of a straight line going through the origin. If I go back, it was very easy for this table, because this table is proportional, to draw that straight line that hits every point that goes through the origin, because this is proportional. This example is not proportional. It does not fit these two criteria. All right, what I want you guys to do for number two, um, you can't really make a, a title here because there's no situation, 
plot these points, and I want you to list any similarities you notice from example one. Then come back and check the video to ensure you plotted it right and listed the correct similarities. So with example number two here, you notice I listed out my uh, coordinate pairs here, um, and I plotted my points. And what I notice here is these points here actually ended up creating a straight line, um, which I just outlined there. You don't have to connect it, um, but you should notice they lie in a straight line. Now, when going back up here to example one, um, we found it difficult to create a straight line, but maybe we could have assumed as a similarity that it possibly made a line. Okay, so similarities, both examples look like they may have made a line. This one does not, though, and this one does. Now, what I can say is both of these do not seem to go through the origin because if this went through an origin and made a straight line, it would look more like that right so similarities they could potentially make a line the second one example two does um but for sure they both aren't going through the origin now differences between the two is example two definitely creates a straight line okay um and that just clearly labeled here. Now, if I go back to the similarities also, both are not proportional because both of them, you need both of those um, criteria here to be proportional, right? So even if it's a straight line, if they do not go through the origin, it, it's not proportional. Both of these need to be true. So out of the three kind of problems we have graphed, the only one that is proportional is this one. And you can see it starts at zero. Zero, zero is called the origin, and it creates a straight line. These other two examples either are not fully straight lines or do not go through the origin, or both, right? If it doesn't fit either, like this example, then it for sure is not proportional. Example number two just doesn't fit this second criteria in terms of it does not go through the origin, although it does create a straight line. That makes this what is called linear, and I'll spell that out for you. This is a linear relationship, okay, over here, but it is not proportional. So it is a straight line, you know, linear has line at the beginning, but it is not proportional, okay? Now, what you're going to do, um, you're going to attack this problem set. And just keep in mind, when two proportional quantities are graphed, it is a line, straight line, and it needs to go through the origin. The origin is that zero, zero point. You're going to go through, you're going to tackle these problem set questions. As always, if you need extra space, um, please use a separate sheet. Um, but it doesn't look like you may need one here. You should be fine. Um, with explaining your reasoning, maybe just write a little bit small. Um, and then come back and check your work, and that will be the end of Lesson 5 on proportionality when it comes to graphs. For 1A here, um, this graph certainly represents a proportional relationship. Um, this is indeed a straight line. Um, as you can see, it's straight. <laughs> And it goes through the origin, which is this. This is the origin right here, the zero, zero point. Because it fits both of those criteria, um, this is a proportional relationship. For B, although this is a straight line, it does not touch the origin or go through the origin. Therefore, this is not, does not represent a proportional relationship. C although it goes through the origin here, right, it starts at the zero point, this is not a straight line. This would be a nice, I'll try to connect this little curved line. That's not, that's not a line, okay? Um, so that is not proportional here. So 1A is the only one that's proportional. B and C are both not, but they're not proportional for different reasons. So make sure the reasoning you have is correct. 
Uh, for number two here, um, when we graph, we have 2 to 22, 3 to 15, and 1 to 11. This is not proportional at all. It not only does not go through this origin point, the 0, 0, but this is a curve. This is not a nice straight you know, line here. Um, because it doesn't fit either of the two criteria, this is for sure not, not proportional at all. Okay? Um, 3A. 3A is proportional. Um, it creates a nice straight line here, as you can see, that goes through this 0, 0 origin point. Because it fits both of those criteria, it is proportional. And for B, although it creates a straight line, if you continue this line, it's not going to go through the origin. So because it is a straight line but doesn't fit the other criteria of going through this 0, 0 point, uh, 3B here happens to not be proportional. So once again, quick run through. A, 1A is proportional. 1B is not because it does not go through the origin. And 1C is not because it does not create a straight line. Um, 2 is not proportional because not only does the line not go through the origin, but it is also not a straight line, as you can tell. Um, 3A is proportional because it has the two criteria. It is a straight line that goes through the origin. And 3B is not because the graph does not pass through the origin, even though it is a straight line. So that is it for Lesson 5 on proportional relationships and graphing.